they held each other close and turned their backs upon the end. The hills that split asunder and the black that ate the skies, the flames that shot so high and hot that even dragons burned, would never be the final sights that fell upon their eyes. A fly upon a wall, the waves the sea wind whipped and churned, the city of a thousand years, and all that men had learned. The doom consumed it all alike, and neither of them turned, Tyrion Lannister and Jorah Mormont, quoting a poem about the doom for nearly five thousand years. The Valyrian freehold had remained the dominant power in the continent of Essos, thanks to their dragons, mighty beasts that were key to their power. At its height, the Valyrian freehold ruled most of Essos, from Pentos to Marine, constituting about half of the known world. However, one fateful day 400 years ago a cataclysm, which became known in later years simply as, the Doom, laid waste to the Valyrian capital, its people, and the surrounding lands. The string of volcanoes near Valyria known as the Fourteen Fires exploded in a massive eruption, consuming the city of Valyria in ashen flame, and the entire region was racked by corresponding earthquakes. The Valyrian peninsula itself was shattered and the ocean came sweeping in, becoming the area now known as the Smoking Sea, which no sailor dares cross and which is believed to be haunted by demons. The exact cause of the doom remains unknown. Some believe the volcanic eruption was a natural disaster, while others believe it was inadvertently triggered by the Valyrian's own sorcery. Whatever the cause, Valyria was destroyed, and all their dragons were lost with it, along with Valyrian recorded history, spells, and knowledge. With its center of power destroyed, the freehold collapsed. Of the mighty families of dragon lords who ruled the freehold, only one survived, House Targaryen, which had re-established itself on Dragonstone in Westeros years before the doom. Most importantly, the Targaryens on Dragonstone possessed the only Valyrian dragons that survived the doom, the only remaining dragons in the known world. With the heartland of the freehold destroyed, its surviving colonies to the west and east reasserted their independence, politically fracturing the continent and initiating a series of savage wars for dominance known as the Century of Blood, during which Volantis attempted to reform the Valyrian Empire under their rule. Several of these colonies formed into the free cities in the west, and the cities of Slaver's Bay in the east. Meanwhile, without the Valyrians and the dragons to keep them in check, the Dothraki mounted hordes swept across the continent from the central plains of the Dothraki Sea, plundering and carving out new domains from surrounding areas. From the Dothraki point of view, the Doom started their own golden age of conquest and expansion. In the far northwest of Essos, the hidden city of Bravos, founded by escaped slaves who fled Valyria, now revealed itself to the world. While the other Valyrian colonies were left in chaos, Bravos was an island of stability because it had no political or economic ties with the freehold, and quickly rose to become the most powerful of the free cities. Valyria has remained a smoking ruin in the four centuries since the doom. Even attempts to pass through it, much less resettle it, end in disaster, to the point that even pirates are too afraid to sail through the smoking sea. Ships rounding the Valyrian peninsula make sure to stay a long distance away from the mainland, due to the belief that demons and other dangers still haunt the region. The free cities exile some victims of advanced grayscale disease, called, stone men, in the Valyrian peninsula, and a few manage to survive in the shadows of the ruins.